Extended spectrum beta lactamases, ESBLs, are enzymes produced by certain bacteria, primarily within the Enterobacteriaceae family, which includes organisms such as Escherichia coli and Klebsiella pneumoniae. The primary role of these enzymes is to confer resistance against beta lactam antibiotics, which are commonly used in treating a variety of infections. The inactivation of beta-lactam antibiotics by ESBLs poses significant challenges for healthcare providers as it limits the therapeutic options available for treating infections. This can lead to prolonged hospital stays, increased healthcare costs, and heightened risk of morbidity and mortality. The Enterobacteriaceae family is predominantly affected by ESBL enzymes, with species like Escherichia coli and Klebsiella pneumoniae being frequent culprits in hospital and community-acquired infections. How beta-lactamases work? Degrading beta-lactam ring, ESBLs function by breaking down the beta-lactam ring structure central to the function of beta-lactam antibiotics, rendering them ineffective against certain bacterial strains. Neutralizing cephalosporins, extended-spectrum cephalosporins, which are crucial in treating serious infections, are also neutralized by ESBLs, complicating treatment options and raising healthcare expenses. Carbapenem resistance, while carbapenems are generally resistant to most beta-lactamases, emerging resistance due to enzymes called carbapenemases presents a worrying trend in global healthcare. ESBL genes are mostly located on plasmids, small DNA molecules that can easily transfer between bacterial strains. Horizontal gene transfer mechanisms, such as transformation and conjugation, facilitate the dissemination of resistance genes among bacteria. Common ESBL genes BLAR-SHV, commonly found in Klebsiella pneumoniae, this gene complicates treatment due to its widespread occurrence and genetic variability. BLAR-CTXM, known for encoding enzymes that hydrolyze cefotaxime efficiently, this gene represents a significant concern for public health worldwide due to its prevalence. BLAR-TEM, variants of this gene exhibit diverse substrate specificities, complicating treatment decisions and strategies aimed at controlling ESBL-related infections. The mobility of ESBL genes on plasmids and transposons enhances their spread among bacterial populations. Selective pressure from antibiotic use promotes the persistence of bacteria carrying these resistance genes. Conjugation remains a primary method for the transfer of resistance, which addresses the need for enhanced infection control protocols. Infections caused by ESBLs, urinary tract infections, pneumonia, bloodstream infections, and intra-abdominal infections. Identification methods. Disc diffusion, a routine method for assessing antibiotic resistance, disc diffusion observes the zones of inhibition around antibiotic discs to determine the susceptibility of bacteria. Double disc synergy test, this test examines the interaction between antibiotics to confirm ESBL production, providing essential information for treatment strategies. E-test, using a gradient of antibiotic concentrations on a strip, the E-test helps determine the minimum inhibitory concentration, MIC, for specific bacteria, informing treatment decisions. Molecular methods. PCR for resistance genes. The rising trend of antibiotic resistance underscores the critical need for education and policies promoting responsible use across various sectors, including agriculture and healthcare. By recognizing the importance of these core points, key conclusions, and important details surrounding ESBLs and antibiotic resistance, stakeholders can work towards effective strategies to mitigate this global health challenge. Thank you for watching.